Hey, this is Mikey, and welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to pull the plug on some great animations. Now, before I get into this tutorial showing you how to uh, create this, well, not create the plug, the plug was already created, but how to animate the plug, uh, making it look kind of 3D and cool. I want to show you a couple of sneak peeks at some new presets I'm working on. Now they are just in very, very raw form right now, but just to kind of get you excited about maybe some new presets that I'm going to be uh, giving out here in the future. Now, if you want to just skip past the sneak peek, just click on the annotation and it'll take you to the part of the video where I start showing you how to do the animation. Okay, now the first one I want to show you is it's a it's kind of a controller for the gradient ramp and the thing about the gradient ramp or just the ramp um, is it's hard to control so here I am in After Effects and say I want to uh, here's my gradient ramp and I want to have this at a 45 degree angle well I need to come in here and uh, bring this here and bring this here and I don't know exactly how if it's 45 degrees and you just kinda gotta eyeball it now um, say I want to keyframe this actually rotating well then I gotta kinda there's just lots of stuff to kinda move around or I could I can rotate this whole thing but then you know it's not the right size and it's just it's a little bit hard to use but it's it's one of these effects that everyone uses and it'd be nice to be able to have more controls with it and that's where my preset comes in. Now again this is really rough. I still need to kind of figure out the controls, um, create a, a nicer custom controller here and get everything named out right. I've just actually been working on it just today and I just wanted to show off kind of what I was doing. So here's the gradient ramp and then I can easily just take this angle control and turn everything around. Pretty cool. I can take this slider right here and this is you know the feather if I go backwards it goes the other direction kinda cool I can change the colors right and then right here this point control I can change where it is I can sweep it across so it works a lot like the CC light sweep but it's meant for gradients now the next thing I I'm working on is going to be kind of a set of presets and templates to work in isometric. It's called isometric perspective where there is no perspective and it's in a, it's a certain way that you put it together. So I've created this um, this it's just a shape layer but since it's a shape layer it's vector and you can scale it up and you can have the grid at different sizes and be able to use the grid to build your um, shapes so like an isometric shape let me just build one really quick um, let's just do a shape layer if I wanted to do a cube you know I can come in here and kind of build a cube and I'm just gonna do this really quickly and then there is that's uh, a little bit off but um, there's you know an isometric cube now let's just go ahead and delete that because what else I've also done is I've created an isometric cube preset so let's just go to layer a new shape layer and then I'm gonna go into my preset and again this is just early on I'm gonna add some more functionality and different things like that and I've got my ISO I bring it in and here is my isometric cube let's turn off this grid and what I what I can do with this is I can adjust the height and the depth and the width and stuff like that and it's all key frameable so this is uh, some new stuff I'm working on. I'm going to add some more functionality to this where I can actually move this in the right directions. Um, when you're working with isometric, it needs to go on this 30 degree axis. Um, up and down, it works fine, but to, to get it to lock into this 30 degree axis is a little bit tricky, so I'm going to have some presets for that that you can apply to you know, this cube or actually any footage that you want to be able to move things on that axis and some some nice things like that you know where you can 
have color schemes on this cube and different things like that. So those are the two new things I'm working on. I'd love to hear your opinion. Um, what do you think? Is this something that's got some merit some way? Is this something you're interested in? Let me know in the comments. All right, now let's get to the tutorial. And if you've actually made it through my, my little sneak peek, congratulations. Um, I'm glad you made it through. So here is my, my, it's an Illustrator file. And when I got the file, it was all just one. And when you're working with Illustrator files, you need to make sure that the individual layers that you want to animate are on individual layers in Illustrator, not just different objects. They need to be different layers. I just literally dragged and dropped the Illustrator file into After Effects, and I'm able to bring in this composition. And it has the three layers. The bottom layer was just the yellow background, and I don't really need that because I can create a yellow solid easy enough. But let's do some quick animations. Now, the animation I want to do is I want to have these plugs kind of slide in and then wiggle um, and then kind of pull apart and sparks kind of fly. And right now I can see a problem that I have is that these plugs aren't long enough. So you can see that kind of ends on both top and bottom. So I'm going to quickly just extend this out. And the easiest way to do that is to, well, let's first pre-comp this one and this is the female side let's go into that change my composition settings and then I'm gonna just duplicate the layer go in and mask off that top and hit subtract and then what I'm going to do is just simply move this down. And let's zoom in. Make sure we get it nice and lined up right. Okay. So now I've extended that plug out a little longer. So I can go in there and everything looks good. So let's do the same thing to this next layer. Okay, so now that I have these two plugs uh, with the longer cords, now honestly it would have been easier just for me to extend that in Illustrator, but I didn't do that, but so it can be done in After Effects. So let's, um, let's get these cords plugged in together. So all you just got to do is just kind of line it up, and I like to make sure there's a little bit of a little gap. So you can kind of see that they, they, you know, they're they're not the same cord. So now that I have these lined up, let's go and I'm going to parent them together, or just one to the other, and then let's have this slide in. So I'm going to start it up here at the top left corner. P on the keyboard will bring up a position keyframe. and then bring this down and you can see right here it shows kind of a line of where this is going through and I actually want this line to line up with the cord so if I have it right here in the center it doesn't line up quite right so I want it to line up right there but now my plugs not in the right spot so then I'm gonna come into my anchor point and adjust that so it's in the right spot and that is completely too slow so let's go into the position and bring that a little bit faster. Okay. Now, one thing I want to do in order to give this a little bit more life and animation is let's have these the cord be a little bit wiggly as it's flying in. So what I want to do with that is use the puppet tool. So let's start right here where it ends and then Let's go first on the female one, and I'm going to add a couple of puppet points. And then go into the mesh on these four points. I'm going to copy these and then paste them right here. And then I'm going to go back to the beginning when it's off the frame 
paste in those original four points. Now, right here, at this point, I want to make the cord really wiggly. And then it's a little bit too slow, so because what's going on, let me show you. Is the cord's coming in, but then it kind of wiggles. So what I want to do is I want it to straighten out faster. And also to start straightening out a little bit earlier. So I'm going to take these keyframes and move them little bit to the left and I'm going to take these last keyframes and move it closer to the middle ones. Still not quite fast enough. I want it to be kind of a almost like a flick. There we go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now let's kind of add that same a little bit of a motion to the other plug, the other end of the plug. So that's my initial animation when it's flying in. So after it flies in, we want it to kind of wiggle a little bit. Now since I have these parented together, uh, there's a little bit of trick you want to do with that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first wiggle the female side and so I'm going to keyframe that and just kind of just wiggle a little bit. And I'm just doing this by hand. I could put it on a wiggle controller. But for something simple like this, that's usually all you need to do. Now what I want to do is take my the other end of the plug and do the same thing. Okay, so I think that's enough wiggling. I did a little bit too much on the one end. And then, so I'm going to just take these keyframes, move it in, and then delete these. And right before the plug pulls, I want it to kind of stop wiggling and then yank apart. So and it stops and then from here let's again keyframe the position of the female first and let's go forward four frames I just hit the page down on the keyboard to do that I'm gonna bring this about right here go back those four frames and let's keyframe the male end of the plug go back down four frames and then move this up here And I think four frames is actually a little bit too slow. So let's just do two frames. Uh, maybe three. There we go. So let's take a look at this animation so far. I like this so far. Now, really, this is a simple animation. One last thing I want to do is create some sparks as it kind of pulls apart. And so easiest way to do that is let's just create a new solid layer and let's get a nice sparky color. I'm going to do kind of a darker orange since it's on a yellow background. And then let's just go ahead and turn this off so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to just create kind of a lightning bolt. And it doesn't have to be perfect because this is just electricity. Let's turn this back on. And you can see there's a spark there. Now, how do we animate this? We want it to kind of come out right when it's pulling apart. So let's go in and what I like to do is I like to just scale start it at zero and then go forward and then bring this up 
but then at the same time as the scale, you want to change the opacity. So I'm going to start at 100% and end at 0%. So let's just take a look. So you can see just kind of a little spark. You know what I want to do? I want to take this, go to the solid settings, and I want to actually make it more yellow instead of orange. So let's bring it like really bright yellow. That's better. Now there's the one spark. All we have to do is duplicate this and then rotate. Now, see how this one's on top? I actually want this plug to be on top of all the sparks. So it looks like it's in between the two plugs. Now another thing you can do to kind of add variation is to take these and have them all start at different times so it's not just such a you know a, a typical animation so that's it and the reason why I showed this um, dem uh, this example is because this is this is based on some work I've done for an actual client I'm doing a, a pretty large kind of infographic all animated and when I get that all done I'll post that here on this channel and be able to show you but this is just one of the clips from that um, was this plug that kind of opened up like this and sparks flew so I hope you learned a lot this was kind of a simple one just using the puppet tool and some moving things around um, if you have any questions feel free to ask just put them in the comments and I will get to them also if you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe to the channel I put out videos every week Thanks for watching and have a great day.